breakthrough. Brumblebees can experience an object using one sense and later recognize it using another. I'm Steve Belair and welcome to Breakthroughs. How are we able to find things in dark and how can we imagine how something feels just by looking at it? It is because our brain is able to store information in such a way that it can be retrieved by different senses. This multi-sensory integration allows us to form mental images of the world and underpins our conscious awareness. It turns out the ability to recognize objects across different senses is present in the tiny brains of an insect. Researchers at Queen Mary University of London and Macquarie University in Sydney have published new work in the journal Science showing that bumblebees can find objects in the dark they've only seen before. In the light, but barred from touching the objects, bumblebees were trained to find rewarding sugar water in one type of object, cubes or spheres, and bitter quinine solution in another shape. When testing in the dark, bees preferred the object that was previously rewarding, spending more time exploring them. Bumblebees also solved the task the other way around. After bees learned to find a particular shape in the dark, they were tested in the light and again preferred the shape they had learned that was rewarded by touch alone. This ability is called cross-model recognition and it allows us to perceive a complete picture of the world with rich representations. Dr. Sin Solvi, as the lead author of the paper, said, the results of our study show that the bumblebees don't process their senses as separate channels. They come together as some sort of unified representation. Researchers said, we've long known that bees can remember the shape of flowers. But a smartphone can recognize your face, for example, and does so without any form of awareness. Our new work indicates that something is going on inside the minds of the bees that is wholly different from a machine, that bees can conjure up mental images of shapes. Celine Gutierrez, co-author of the paper, said, This is an amazing feat when you consider the minuscule size of the bee's brain. Future investigations of the neural circuitry underlying this ability in bees may one day help reveal how our brains imagine the world we do. Dr. Sylvie cautions, this doesn't mean that the bees experience the world the same way we do, but it does show that there is more going on in their heads than we have given them credit for. Ha! Ah, cool! I'll leave a link to the article in the description, and as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and take care.